Number 16, this is 1912 D Lincoln sent in MS65 plus wet condition, graded by PCGS and the grade proven by CAC. According to NGC, 1912 D sands are not that rare, but finding one having a sharp strike from the fresh dyes will be quite challenging. The typical mean state survival reveals peripheral dye erosion or a weakening of Lincoln's label from the over polishing of the dye to remove such erosion furrows. One of the oddities of the copper or bronze coinage is that poorly struck pieces tend to retain their mint red color more readily than sharp coins. The latter are almost routinely found brown or at best red and brown. This is certainly the case for this issue. Examples in the higher circulated grades are likewise scarce and are affected by the same strike considerations. This MS65 Plus gem was sold for $1,662.75 with buyer's fee. Number 15 here is 1972 Lincoln Sand with double die of verse graded in mean state 66 plus read by PCGS. The 1972 double die of verse Lincoln Sand is very popular among collectors. The coins have quite a large spread on the doubling, which is quite evident throughout the mottos and the Dayton of verse. While not quite as dramatic as 1955 DDO, these coins still command a healthy premium. It was sold for $2,165.62 with buyer's fee. Number 14, 1951 S. Roosevelt Diamond MS68 condition with full bands. A booming luster accentuates the sunset orange and deep green toning at the right of words and reverse rims. As expected for the FP designation, all details on both sides are fully rendered from an exacting strike from the dice. It was sold for $2,585. Number 13, here is 1953 9 cents struck on a silver 10 cent planchet, graded in mid state 64 by PCGS. According to legend rare coin auctions, brilliant silver luster shines boldly on both sides. The slightly smaller planchet cuts off only tiny portions on the legend on both sides. Generally well struck, although there is a touch of weakness in spots where there was not enough metal to fill the dice. An interesting error that's more often seen on later dates. Some light scuffs are noted that account for a side grade if viewed closely. It was sold for $2,702.50. Number 12. Moving on with this 1941 Washington Quarter in PR68 Plus condition. A 1941 Washington Quarter in PR68 Plus condition can be considered a rare and valuable coin, especially if it has been graded and certified by reputable coin grading services. The plus designation indicates that the coin is at the higher end of the PR68 grade, making it even more desirable to collectors. This NGC graded quarter was bargained for $3,600 with buyer's fee. Number 11, 1950 Washington quarter with D over S repunched mint mark, graded in mint state 64 by PCGS. The D over S variety specifically refers to a case where the Denver mint mark was initially punched over a San Francisco mint mark. These kinds of errors are intriguing to collectors because they represent a mistaken minting process and are relatively uncommon. The rarity and value of the coin will depend on factors such as the severity of repunching, the overall condition of the coin, and the demand from collectors. This gem was sold for $3,825 with buyer's fee. Number 10, 1966 SMS Kennedy of dollar in SP68 deep cameo condition. The present coin is fully struck and brilliant with dramatic white on black contrast. There are no distracting blemishes overall. A magnificent gem that was sold for $5,040. Number 9, this is 1959 D. Roosevelt Diamond MS68 condition with full bands designation. Very nicely toned with bold, vibrant satin mint luster that brings out the olive gold, icy blue, and rosy hues on both sides. The eye appeal is totally original, and even with a strong glass, it's bothersome finding any flaws. These yellows of 10 cent piece ended up selling for $5,287.50.
Number eight here is 1976 S Bicentennial Silver Quarter in MS69 condition. This superb gem is in the threshold of numismatic perfection. According to NGC Price Guide, as of August 2023, a Washington Quarter from 1976 S in circulated condition is worth between $2.30 and $3.40. However, on the open market, Bicentennial S Silver Quarters in pristine, uncirculated condition sell for as much as $10,000. This MS69 quarter was sold for $7,368.75 with buyer's fee. Number 7. This is 1963 Franklin half dollar struck on a nickel planchet. Another coin graded as MS66 condition with full bell lines by PCGS. Somehow a nickel planchet found its way into a half dollar planchet bean at the Philadelphia Meet. Perhaps a bean was used for nickel planchets earlier than employed for half dollars, and a stray planchet got stuck and fell out during the production of halves. The planchet fell nearly perfectly centered on dies, with Franklin's portrait and the Liberty's bell fully visible. It was sold for $8,518.75. Number 6, 1952S Jefferson Nickel in MS66 Plus condition with full steps. San Francisco issues tended to have lower mintage than their Denver and Philadelphia mint counterparts in the late 1940s and early to mid 1950s and the S mint coins are harder to locate in high grades such as this one. This is a sharply struck premium gem nickel with vibrant luster and attractive gold and silver toning. It was sold for $8,812.50. Number 5, another bicentennial coin, 1976 S. Kennedy, half dollar, in mid state 69. According to Heritage, the nation's bicentennial celebration was widely celebrated at the time, and, and the special reverse designs for the quarter, half dollar, and dollar were created to mark the occasion. The coins all show the dual 1776-1976 date on obverse. The half dollar reverse with Independence Hall as a centerpiece was designed by Seth G. Huntington. In addition to regular issue clad coinage, 11 million silver clad uncirculated specimens were struck and offered in sets, and 4 million silver clad proofs were struck for collectors. This magnificent silver clad MS69 specimen exhibits sharply detailed design elements throughout, and virtually flawless surfaces are lustrous and appealing. It was sold for $9,600. Number 4. This is 1949 as Jefferson Nickel in MS67 condition with full steps. Vivid rings of iridescence surround the rims on each side with lighter toned centers. Bright mint luster is seen beneath the toning. The 1949 S is a remarkably scarce issue with a full step incidence, estimated at 1 in 150 coins. This scarce gem was sold for $15,275. Here is 1926S Lincoln Cent in MS64 red condition. According to Stax Bowers, where rare CAC approval and full red mean state example of this well known condition rarity among 1920 cents. The obverse exhibits warm golden orange color that gives way to more of a pinkish rose hue on the reverse. Both sides are frosty in finish with bold strike and pleasing smooth appearance. The 1926S is a low mintage affair by the standards of the Lincoln Cent series with just 4,550,000 pieces produced. It has long been regarded as semi to full key date issue in all grades and most collectors have had to settle for a worn example, either due to availability or cost. This elusive penny was bargained for $15,600. Here is 1955 Lincoln Cent NPR 69 deep cameo condition, shown is a truly memorable coin in proof Lincoln Cent of any date. This is a glorious specimen, as the assigned grade suggests, with, with virtually flawless surfaces dressed in vivid fire orange mint color. Watery field supports satiny design elements, the entire package smooth in hand, and virtually pristine. 
the proof mintage of this issue is 378,200 pieces, not overly generous for the decade and paltry in comparison to those of later date issues in the Proof Lincoln series. This rare specimen was sold for $50,400. Number 1, and this is 1969 as Lincoln sent with double diverse, graded in mean state 64 red by PCGS. This variety is known for having a noticeable doubling on th of the design elements on the obverse, most notably in the inscriptions in God We Trust, Liberty and the Date. The doubling is a result of a misalignment during the minting process, which caused the coin's design to be stamped onto the die more than once. The 1969s double die cent is one of the most famous and sought after error coins in numismatics. It gained significant attention when it was discovered shortly after its release, and it continues to be highly prized by collectors. This MS64 specimen fetched a sum of $71,499.38 with buyer's fee on July 30th, 2023. Thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you in the next episode.